there, guys. My name is Coast Shadogs to board, but build for theme park news. And yes, yes, we've got some exciting news for 2021. Massive announcement from Silverwood Theme Park in Idaho. I originally filmed a video from DeJure Summerland about their new 2022 coaster in their new Dinosaur Land section. That video will be coming out tomorrow. Uh, well, sometime tomorrow, and uh, for now at least, today is focused on Silverwood Theme Park, because today we're going to be talking about Stunt Pilot, the brand new RMC single rail coaster for 2021. As you can tell, I'm absolutely buzzing about it. Now, we're going to be sharing all the details about this ride, including stuff from the ride's website. We're going to be sharing some analysis on the ride. Uh, we don't have any official statistics as of yet, and I'm sure I'll make a different, an another video, a different video uh, later on throughout the week and going to next week uh, with more details specifically about the ride. Um, but today's video is the first reaction, it's the first analysis of the ride, and um, just sharing you my thoughts on it at the end as well. I'm going to share with you the official uh, website description from the official parks website. You guys can check out the ride's website for yourself, I've linked it in the description down below. Um, I just uploaded, by the time you're watching this, it'll be a, you know about an hour or so, but uh, by the time I'm recording this, I only just finished uploading the actual announcement trailer, and again, full credit to that goes to Silverwood Theme Park. They released it on Twitter, they released it on their YouTube channel, so make sure you go and check it out for yourselves. The link will be in the description of that video for that uh, specific announcement trailer from them. And yeah, let's talk about Stunt Pilots. So, first thoughts, first of all, before we go into specifics about the website's description. So, if you don't know it already, it is a Rocky Mountain Construction Raptor or a single rail roller coaster. Uh, this is, from the looks of it, a clone of Railblazer, which is the, one of the prototypes from California's Great America. Uh, we've got three and now probably four um, in the world. Well, those including those that have not been constructed, because obviously you've got Rollblazer at California's Great America and Wonder Woman Golden Lasso Coaster at Six Flags Fiesta Texas. They were the two prototypes. There is also a prototype one going over uh, to the water park in South Dakota, which is the price cut one from IAPA that was on sale at IAPA last year. And also this one. So uh, obviously Kentucky Kingdom set to be getting one. Now, of course, if that one is going to be a Royal Brazer prototype, then that will obviously make it uh, five. But uh, very exciting stuff from this one. Now, I'm going to share with you the official website description as well as some concept images. And uh, we're going to talk more about my thoughts later on. So before we get started, like, comment, subscribe and all that malarkey. And let's get into talking about Stunt Pilot. So officially from the website of the park, before the roller coasters and water slides dominated the skies of Silverwood, there was a train, a small village and plains. As visitors sat on the main street lawn, they would watch vintage airplanes loop through the air and perform death-defying maneuvers at breakneck speeds. For eight years, Silverwood was only theme park, the only theme park in the world to feature daily air shows for the guests. However, due to some close calls and a tragic air show crash in Spokane, we decided to ground the Silverwood air show in 1996. But in 2021, the spirit of these shows will return in the form of a new stunt plane themed roller coaster. Jump into the cockpit of a pit special biplane as this single rail coaster climbs over 105 feet into the sky and dives below the uh, uh, experience hairpin turns, aerobatic maneuvers and three inversions as the coaster speeds through heart stopping obstacles before returning back to the hangar. Get ready to hold on tight and take flight on Stump Pilot opening in summer 2021. So very, very exciting stuff from there. And now I'm going to share with you my thoughts on the train look the track design and also the logo surrounding this particular ride experience so there we go that is a look at the website description of stunt pilot at silverwood theme park now from the concepts from the announcement video that we released earlier on we know straight away that this is going to be a clone of Railblazer, so I don't, I don't even care whether it was a clone or not. I just wanted to see a Raptor at this park, and thank God we've got one. You know, Kentucky Kingdom's going to get one in 2021, well, still on chapter 2021. The small one going to the water park in South Dakota, that's apparently 2021 now as well. So, you know, we've got three Raptors in 2021. If only Adventureland in Iowa can make it four. But they're getting a free spin, so it's still a good coaster for them. <laughs> but, now, think, uh, go back on this. 
This is brilliant. This is absolutely brilliant. This is the compact thrill coaster I knew Silverwood would get. I knew we wouldn't be disappointed with this one, and it's just proved it. Now, with the uh, the white track and the red support, I've got a feeling the train design, even though it was not on show on the announcement video, will be a similar style. I think we're looking here at a red and white plain style design. Can't wait to see what the train design will look like in person. Um, and this is going to be a fantastic ride for the for the park. It's going to be a fantastic attraction. And I like how they've sort of stuck back to their history with this one. You know, I, I like how they've gone back to their former roots with the with the air shows and including that into the story around this ride. The fact that they were doing these air shows. And this is not like a part of the story. It's not like, you know, it's not fake for the story. This actually happened. They were doing these Silverwood air shows. And, of course, they stopped them. And then, you know, the fact they're going to actually do this, bring the spirit of these air shows together is magnificent. And through Stunt Pilot, we can actually experience the spirit of these air shows in real life, in coaster form. So, I think they've done really, really well here in tying the park into the story for the ride. And the fact that the spirit of these air shows are going to come to life if you jump into the cockpit of your very own pit special biplane in Stunt Pilot. Now, talking about the name and the logo... I flaming love it. Stunt Pilot. It's straight to the point. It's very, very broad. It's very, very good. It's very much nailed on at what the theme's going to be. And, you know, it's just, it's it's a name that just gets you straight away. Stunt Pilot. Just straight away gets to the point. Um, a lot of people will think, well, hang on a minute. Shouldn't they have done a more creative name? No. I think Stunt Pilot's actually just as creative as any other name. So, Stunt Pilot it is. Very good name. Uh, now, talking about the fact that it is an RMC Raptor. Now, like I said, I don't care whether it's a clone of Railblazer or a custom model. I just wanted a Raptor at this park. And thank the Lord in Jesus up above, they're going for it. They're going for the Raptor Coaster. They're going for the major roller coaster investment for 2021. And you know what? Parks like Silverwood are really looking at COVID in the face here and saying, well, hang on a minute. Whether we bought this before the pandemic, I don't care. We're going to bounce back. We're going to get the revenue back in next year. And we're going to say to COVID, you don't scare our planet. And that's what we need to be saying. You don't scare us. Because Silverwood are really going for this investment here. They're really going for it. And uh, by the way, just on the track call, the, the white track and the red supports, looks very good. It doesn't look, you know, carnivally in any way, shape or form. I think it's fantastic for the part to go in that kind of direction. Colour of a pit special biplane. So I'm guessing the trains will match the colour of the track and supports. But, you know, again, I don't mind that. Um, so the fact that there's no statistics in this video, um, obviously they haven't released them, but I think with it being a clone of Rollblazer, we are looking at similar statistics here. So uh, since we're going for similar statistics, let me remind you guys uh, of those statistics, of the official statistics for uh, the California's Great America prototype known as Railblazer. Um, and don't forget, that was only introduced a few years ago. So it's only been a few years since the, the prototype was introduced. So... You know, it, it's very good, isn't it? 2018, which is, uh, you know, a good two years, so not too long at all. Now, Railblazer has a length of 1,800 feet, a height of 106 feet, a speed of 52 miles per hour, three inversions, and a 90-degree vertical angle. And it has the overbank curve, the corkscrew, the cutback, the dive loop, the tunnel, and the chain lift hill. Now, of course... Um, Again, like I said, we're looking at a, a clone of Rollblazer here, so it looks like it will have the 1800, me uh, 1800 feet of track, the 106 foot height, the 52 miles per hour, and of course, we already know from the description, um, the three inversions. And to be fair, it says on the website um, for this, I said there, it said it goes over the 105 feet, so maybe we're looking here um, at specifically 106 feet. Or it's possibly just one feet short of Rollblazer. So maybe it's just a slightly teeny tiny little smaller version of Rollblazer. But it's, if, it's, if it's by a feet, it's by a feet. It doesn't matter statistically. All I know is it's going to be a fantastic ride. Because Rollblazer got some very good reviews as well. So I think that um, this is the... To summarise this whole video, this is the great way to go. This is a fantastic um, investment to go for for the park. And, you know, this is definitely going to be a very good investment for the theme park. Very good investment for 2021. And uh, Silverwood, well done. Absolutely well done with that. You've done fantastically with this. So, there we go. That is my analysis of Stunt Pilot coming to Silverwood Theme Park in 2021. We don't have a specific opening date as of yet. 
uh, it looks like it's going to be the summer, uh, as it said, you know, it, we don't have a specific one, but it did say summer 2021, so we are looking between the May to July route, so I've, I've got a feeling it'll be May time uh, when we get this open, uh, and I can't wait for construction on the site to officially begin. I mean, I don't know exactly where in the park this is, but from, you know, what we saw with the teasers, with the skyline looking very different, it looks like it will be on that thin strip of land that we showed you in a previous update, so... Thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, guys, my name is Coach Shell. Keep living the coast life, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for the DeJers Summerland video. And of course, if there's any more stuff on Stunt Pilot, we will do a separate video on it as well. Thank you very much, guys. Take care. Have an awesome day. I'm absolutely buzzing for this.